So what we know about eating disorders today is that we are seeing the ages of eating disorders dipping down to a younger age group. For children under the age of 12, it's extraordinarily alarming that we're seeing almost a 120% increase in the last decade of children of that age group having to be hospitalized for an eating disorder. For adolescents, we know that eating disorders are the third most common chronic illness that they experience. And not only females experience eating disorders, but also males. So out of the roughly 30 million individuals in our country alone who experience an eating disorder, we think, we estimate about 20 million are girls and women, about 10 million boys and men. We also know that eating disorders affect individuals later in life as well. So we see many individuals coming in for treatment at midlife. For many of them, it is the first time that they've ever received treatment, and they've had their eating disorder for many, many years. Eating disorders have the highest mortality rate, which means death rate, of any of the psychiatric illnesses together. We know that many of the deaths that occur are by organ failure as a direct result of the eating disorder. We also know that approximately half of the deaths that occur are secondary to suicide. More alarming is that out of individuals that have been surveyed, up to 70% of those individuals who admit to having experienced an eating disorder at some point admit that they did not seek treatment. So here we have a statistics where you have illnesses that have the highest de death rate along with the fact that many of these individuals affected are not seeking treatment. So it's very important if you suspect that someone that you know or yourself has an eating disorder that you do seek appropriate treatment.